Many years ago, a terrible plague consumed the mighty kingdom of Fardor. The only hope of a cure rested with one young wizard, sent out to scour the earth for precious ingredients. After many years, he returned with an antidote. <coughs> the king's sons, Princess Dick and Dom, were the first to be cured. And the last to be cured. They were banished from the kingdom, along with their trusty mage, Manitol, and light-fingered servant, Lutin. All never to return until they had collected the ingredients to remake the antidote. And so the legend of Dick and Dog had begun. Right, let's try bear left. To continue their epic journey, our right, heroes were forced to turn right. to new technology, GPS. At the first available opportunity, turn around. Gnome positioning system. The next ingredient for the potion was hairy bat saliva. At the next tree, take the third exit. <laughs> you have now reached your destination. <laughs> this thing is rubbish. You're rubbish. Right. Stop it. It's not worth it. We're tired, we're cold, we're hungry. We haven't seen a sign for Morecambe Door in days. Apart from that one. Apart from that one. I told you. <laughs> I'm sick of this gnome. We don't need his help. What have you got us here? We would have found this place anyway. No bother. Look, I think the right way is that way. It's not. Anyone who agrees with me, follow me now. <laughs> oh, it's like that, is it? Well, don't come running to me when you get lost. <sighs> Just leave him. He'll be back. Should we carry on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm... Just uh, going to uh, hang here for a while. What? No, I'm happy. I'll catch you later. But we've got to find the hairy bat saliva. We need you. You know, hairy bats are two a penny in Morecambe Door. You go ahead. But what if we need you to magic something up? Stay in the hole. Stay in the boggy hole. He's scared of seeing his grandma. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Dick's right, there's definitely something wrong with that gnome. I hope you kept the receipt. I was listening to him talking in his sleep. Should have heard him. Like a whiny little... <laughs> baby. <laughs> B. Are you telling me your grandma lives here? Yeah, she's got comfy beds, warm clothes, and apparently she does an amazing apple crumble. I don't know where exactly. At the next tree, bare left. I don't know what she's like. She looks right to me. Oh, you don't know her. She's unbearable. But you can't not visit. It's your nan. What kind of grandson are you? I haven't written a thank you letter for the last three Christmases. That's different. How can you live with yourself? I know. I know. I'm so ashamed. I found someone who sells it. Your nearest hairy bat saliva seller is within 500 feet. All right, you found him. Thank you. So all we need to do is go get some dry clothes and food from Nan just over there, and then we can be on our Wait. way. Wait. Ooh, no. If you're beardy and you wish to sit in a garden and pretend to fish, come join us all doing the know me walk. Oi. Oh, bless. <laughs> I think we got away with it. My talents are wasted on you lot. Are you sure you can sell us hairy bat saliva? I'm sure. Hairy bat saliva? Oh, yes. <laughs> it can't be any other kind. Uh, listen, I've been in this business for 25 years. What business? The, uh, the spittle business. OK. You know so much about it. How do you collect hairy bat saliva? Well, uh, yeah. Well, yes. Uh, they slobber. What? What? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, when a hairy bat falls asleep, it tends to slaver, and um, I creep about with a little teaspoon and collect it. Uh, Eighty gold pieces. If you ask for a discount, you get a dead arm. Where is it? Uh, just down there. Where? In your big warehouse, full of it. Just down there. <laughs> no, there isn't. Are you calling me a liar? 
Recalculating your destination is straight ahead. Right, come on. <laughs> right, it's just down there, a bit further on. <laughs> you go. Down. Yeah, that way. I don't know about him. Oh, he seems like an honest enough troll to me. I'm sure Fine. everything is straight ahead and above. <laughs> 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 Oh. Now that was not helpful. Oh. Uh. OK, it's not looking great right now, but we still don't know if he's a bad troll. He might be coming to rescue us. Oh. Oh. OK, so he is a bad troll. <laughs> but it could still be worse. Uh. Oh. 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 All right, could still be worse, though. <laughs> to finally meet Manny's friends. You see, he's never had many friends. He was such a sickly child. Does he finish his vegetables? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, good. Because he's had terrible trouble with... Manny! Have you forgotten? What? Each biscuit needs its cosy. Every biscuit has to have its own little cosy. There, Thank that's you, better. Now, come and sit by your favourite <sighs> granny. <laughs> oh, Nan! Oh, stop showing off in front of your friends. Now, where are those paintings? Oh, no, please. Oh, this was when he was a licking baby, isn't he? Gorgeous! Oh. <sighs> He has a real problem with sucking his thumb, though, isn't that right? It was 50 years ago, Nan. Don't be silly. He pretends he doesn't do it anymore, but I've seen him. You see, Manny thinks he's all big and grown up, but I know the real Manny. And did you know he wet the bed until he was 26? Nan! And he always had to have a light on in his room when he went to bed. Because Manny's very scared of the dark. And there are only certain songs that send him to sleep. Do you still have to sing lullabies to him? Eh? Oh, yeah. Sometimes. Oh, good. Now that was that picture. Now let's go on to the next one. Oh, 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 oh dear! Oh, oh, come on, oh, get him. There we go. Thanks, Naomi. If it wasn't for you, we'd never have got away. Yeah, well, you don't want to do anything, were you? We have got to get out of here. You can't. What? She's locked all the doors. Every 15 minutes, she patrols the house. The only time she's distracted is when she's drinking tea. See? There's got to be a way out of here. Nope. You're here for good. I know a way. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be tricky. When we first arrived, I did a full scout of the entire compound. Take a look at this scale model I made using twigs and leaves. Now, this shows all the blind spots, trip wires and booby traps. At first sight, it does look foolproof, but there is a way through it. You see, your nan's sly, but then so am I. Shh. 
night at night. Hang on. No! <laughs> Let us out of here! We want to go home! So you don't want to know where you can get hairy bat saliva, then? Ah. Ah, excuse me. Oh, you're not here to see the hairy bats, are you? Well, as it happens, yeah, I am, actually. <laughs> you heard this? She's come here to see the hairy bats. Oh, I'm glad you find it so amusing. We won't find it around here, oh, no, oh, they've no. gone. Left about 15 minutes ago. Uh, where? <laughs> this bloke, he doesn't know much, does he? The migrating, son. Yeah, from here they go over the fiery lakes of Shandau. Through the vast barren wastelands of Bungsilit. Round the Cape of Apes. And, and finally, finally rest in the icy cold mountains of Giblet. What? Oh, no. Some people, you can't oh, no. tell them, can you? Bare left. Continue straight ahead. Oh, uh, take the first available exit on your right. No. We mean it better at these things. Stand aside, brave warrior. We mean you no harm. But we've been travelling for many a mile and our quest lies within this forest. We are not violent, but if you resist, we cannot be responsible for our actions. Yeah, go in if you like. What? You're not going to put up a fight? Well, I'm just waiting for my mate. All right. Hello. Morning. Oh, morning. <clears throat> Do you have any hairy bat saliva? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> Can we have some? Yeah, certainly, sir. <laughs> Although, uh, you do know about our sale. No. Yeah. Three bags of air balls for the price of two. Oh, uh, no, we don't want any of those, thank you. No, no, of course not. All right. I'll do your four, but keep it under your hats. We're not interested. All right, all right. I understand. You drive a very hard bargain. I'll do five, but that's it. Look, we're not interested in your stupid hairballs. It's a good deal. <laughs> Look, my nan said we could get hairy bat saliva here. Oh, are you little manny? Eh? Yes, why? Your nan asked me to give you this. <laughs> Thanks. Now, do you have any or not? What? Hairy bat saliva! What? Hairy bat saliva? Yes. yes! No. Well, then why did you say you did? Well, I thought I could sell you these air balls. I can't shift them, lads. Useless. Let's go. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I could order it in for you. Oh, well, how long? Not long. How long? Well, I think I could safely guarantee to have it here within uh, six to eight... Yes. Years. Uh. <sighs> All right, listen, I'll do you six bags for the price of two. Am I crazy or what? I can't understand it, Manny. They had loads of it the last time I was in there. Did he give you the sugar? Uh, yes. You are. There is another place I know of. A magic orchard in a hidden forest. Legend tells of a vast lake of hairy bat saliva surrounded by apple trees. Many men have ventured there, but few have returned. And where is this hidden forest? It's through the woods and to the left. Mm. Mm. Well, it's just like water to me. Mm, me too. Are you little Manny? Yes, why? Your nan asked me to give you this. Me <laughs> Thank you. Oh, go on. Taste it. Excuse me. It's the only way we're going to find out. Oh, <sighs> Well? Don't know. What does hairy bat saliva taste like? Oh. Nope. Just looks like water to me. 
But you said... I said legend tells of a lake of saliva. You know what legends are like, total rubbish. Did you pick up those apples? Um, yes, yes, here you go. There is another place I know of. No, wait, forget it. No, but this time I'm certain. There is a farm not far from here with loads of geese, and one of them has a small vial round its neck, and I'm sure I heard it contains hairy bat saliva. Honest. Listen, you would kick yourself if you never look. Over there, over there! Where? Near the tree! No, no, they're over here! Oh. No, 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 over there! Oh, yeah, but... Wait, hang on a minute! What? These geese, they're wild, right? I think so. And what are we doing? Uh, chasing them. So we're on a wild goose. Oh, hey. no. Excuse me? Yes. Are you little manny? Yes. Ah, I bet you've got something for me. Cinnamon sticks. I think I know what's going on here. You're just getting us to do all your shopping. No, I'm not. Then why are we collecting ingredients for an apple crumble? Well, I just thought as you were out, you might as well pick up a few bits. You lie to us. That's a bit harsh. You don't even know where the hairy bat saliva is. I do, actually. Hairy bat saliva? Why didn't you tell us? Because I'm lonely. It was so nice having people in the house again. People to talk to. Oh, why can't you stay, Manny? Because, Nan, I'm 58 years old. I've got my own life. Traipsing around the world with these losers. You have to find some company from somewhere else. Are there any old people's clubs you could join? Or you, you could get a pet. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, uh, see you later. <laughs> Just stay for one more night. I promise, first thing in the morning you can leave. I won't do anything to stop you. So our heroes agreed to stay for just one more night. Nan fed them her legendary apple crumble. Is she really going to let us leave? <sighs> Next morning, before breakfast, and without a word, they took their chance and left. want to leave. Our heroes were trapped, forced to live with Nan forever as crumble-dependent zombie slaves bound to a life of knockout whist. All day trips to the local shops. And perhaps worst of all, the sing-song. Surely now their quest would never be finished, and the poor people of Fardor were doomed. Are you going to finish these dishes? Yes, Nan. Anything, Nan. 
My mum's mum's crumble. When you finish here, I want this whole place weeding, all right? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Psst, you two. It's me, the gnome. You know, GPS. You've got to get out of here. You're on a quest, remember? To save the people of Fyador, the plague, and all that. Crumble. Forget about the crumble. You need that, remember? Crumble? Oh, no! If you're warty, if you're grey, if you're scabby, skin like clay, come join us all. That's it. I've nowhere left to turn. Left turn? Hang on. At the door, bear right. Continue straight ahead. No, no, no. Oh, no. Jump over and run like crazy. Yeah, that's it. It's like that, is it? Well, no one gets away from Nan that easily. Stand up, stand up. Forwards. No, up, up, up. At the lake, it goes straight ahead. In the lake, it'll wake you up. Come on! I'm sorry, but you left me no other choice. You know, I remember sitting down for a cup of tea. It all went blank. I did try to warn you. Once she's got you, that's it. That crumble went off nice, though. It's deadly. You can't think of it as crumble. You have to think of it as a weapon of war. And that weapon is reloaded and ready to fire. Quick! <laughs> you will never escape the power of the crumble. Crumble. Then fight it, don't fight it. But it's so lovely. No, you must be strong. Oh, those apples. Oh, the crumbly top. Oh, oh. the soggy middle. The, the, the mission, the, the, the quest, oh. the plague. The crumble cannot win. Everyone's depending on you. But I can't stand it. It's too much. The oh. pudding's not the answer. Oh, lovely crumble. Oh, actually, it doesn't help pay havoc with your... Hang on a minute. What are we doing here? Come on! Oh, no! She's getting in on us! Wait! We've got it. He's still not here. All right. I knew you'd be back. Right then, six bags for the price of ten. And that is it. No, 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 forget the hairballs. We need tea. Tea. Hot steaming tea. Lots of it. All right, I'll pop the kettle on. Will it work? It has to, it's our only hope. Giving up, are we? I knew you were weak. No one can resist the power of the apple. Ooh, a nice cup of tea. Yes! Right. We've got to go now. Sorry, I promise I'll write you a thank you letter this Christmas. OK, come on! Let's get out of here before she drinks all the tea. Fire and uh, bathroom fixtures and hairy b b b hairy b b bats. B <laughs> really? Oh. Now all we have to do. Oh. 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 Do you know what? 
Perhaps I should hold on to things from now on. Mm. Hmm? <laughs> Well, well, well. What have we got here, then? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Look, just nick all our stuff and let us go, will you? Now, why would I want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> because we're in a bit of a rush. No, 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 no. This is the fun bit. I'm going to savour it. It's the only bit of this job I really enjoy. <laughs> Right. right. <laughs> oh, what have we got here then? Yeah. String. Candle. Don't know what that is. <laughs> Nail varnish. Just get on with it. Going somewhere, are we? <laughs> What have we got here, then? Smells like a possum. <laughs> oh, no, don't eat that! Whatever you do, please don't eat that! <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> 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 No, come Must have no crumble. No crumble. Must have no crumble. There you go. And when you've done that, you can do all the surfaces, and then I need you to go into town for a few bits. Well, we got rid of your nan, Manny. Well, what about the quest? You know, what about the hairy bat saliva? You didn't really think I'd have left that place without pinch... I mean, gathering what we needed, did you? Oh. <laughs> and so the next vital ingredient, hairy bat saliva, was added to the potion, and Princes Dick and Dom were another step closer to home. Any more of that crumble? Yeah, get out of it! <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> the legs are...